making a community trust you is really difficult. That's why you should lock tokens when you need it to make them feel as much secure as possible. And today I'm going to show you how to do that without coding and from just 0.1 Solan. I will directly show you how to do this, how to lock your tokens. You just need to go to tools.smithy.io and click on token vesting tool. You will have the link in the description. In here, you have all the options. First of all, you need to select the tokens you are going to lock. I just created a token called Locker uh, to lock it and uh, show you how it works. And then we need to go to select the start date and the end date. It means when are my tokens start to be locked. In this case, in most use case will be today, just in this time. I'm doing this and the end date may be one month, one year, three years, as you want. I will select, for example, this Saturday. Why not? At 3 p.m. So then we go directly to select the total amount we are going to lock of the token. In this case, my token supply is 1 million. Let's say I'm adding 90% to liquidable, so I will lock 10% which will be my team allocation. Here we have the vesting URL. You need to select which will be the name of the URL. It will be like this, tools.smithy.io token vesting slash your name, okay? Uh, this will be the site where all your vesting information or all your log information will be displayed. So in this case, for example, I will use Loki, okay? Which is the name of the token. This will be the basic information and the mandatory information um, creating the lock now or the vesting now will just cost 0.1 Solana and uh, the wallet I'm using will be the only wallet that will be able to claim um, to receive these tokens when the lock time finish, okay? But that's not all. In this tool, we can add vesting periods and set receiver wallets. Let me show you how it works. Um, each one of these options would cost 0.1 Sol extra okay in this case adding vesting periods is basically adding clips and different periods to release a percentage of these tokens we are locking in this case uh, we are locking 100,000 tokens okay as i selected here so i can divide uh, this and lock time within different periods for example the lock time i selected was uh, this saturday i can make 50 percent vesting period that could make 50% of my tokens be released from this lock within Friday, for example, okay? So I will select how much vesting periods, let's say I want two, okay? And in the first vesting period that will start today and will finish, as I said, on Friday, for example, at 3 p.m. So I will pick how much percentage will be unlocked within this date, which is not the end date of the whole lock time. So the vesting will start, Today, after the period one, the 50% will be released, that will be on Friday, and then when this period to finish, that will be the end date of the lock, I will release the rest of the token. Uh, in this case, they need to be 100% between all the periods, so 50 and 50. And uh, after this visiting option, we can set receiver wallets. Okay, this is another option, which is actually really useful. In here, I can allocate these tokens to different wallets. Instead of paying the admin wallet, the wallet I'm using to claim these tokens when the lock finish, the wallets that will be able to unlock the tokens and receive them will be the ones I set here, okay? I can even write them manually, okay? Or upload a CSV with different um, wallets. The use case would be, I have 20% of the supply I want uh, allocate to liquidity pool and I will allocate 5% to make an order within six months. I will allocate another 5% to marketing and I will allocate another 10% to team. So I will distribute this allocation to three wallets uh, that have each different purpose and I can add them here. So the lock uh, tokens will be divided into this, these three wallets once it's finished. Another use case, for example, is a pre-sale. Imagine you are launching a huge project, you make a pre-sale or a private sale with 10 people, each one of them buys 30% uh, of the allocation for this pre-sale or private sale, and you wanna lock 
um, or apply vesting to their investment so they are not able to dump on TGE on the launch of the token. So you can make a vesting, for example, of three years and each year it will be a 30% of the token unlocked for all these um, pre-sale buyers or private sale buyers. You can do the same with advisors or whatever. It depends on the strategy. This is just a tool that provides you the technology to make that efficiently without coding and in a safe way. Okay, so I will add, uh, for example, this wallet and this will be the receiver wallet that will be able to claim these tokens into the best inside uh, once it's, it's uh, unlocked. As uh, we create the lock, as we create the best team, we will also get a best team certificate that will be basically a panel that says, okay, this wallet have locked this token uh, for this time. So you as investor um, or as community of this token, can rest assured that this have happened and what the admin or the project founder is saying is true because you have this certificate provided by Smithy which is the safest platform to launch and manage tokens within Solana ecosystem. So in here you can add your social media and your tokenomics. I will add for example this uh, image as tokenomic and I will add for example Smithy Telegram. Once we have all these things ready we just need to click on Create vesting, it will open the transaction and we will need to accept the transaction with the payment. In this case, it will be 0.2 Solana and the lock, uh, and we will be sending 100,000 lock, which is the amount of tokens we selected to lock. Um, I shouldn't have used this name actually. Okay, so we confirm it will load, it just takes some seconds. And here we have our vesting. Okay, this is the admin panel in here only you can access with the admin wallet with the wallet you use to create the vesting okay and here you have all the private information and analytics page of your vesting okay vesting overviews uh, with the brief periods the token status with which percentage um, have been locked uh, unlocked and the percentage available to claim and the claim in which phase are we etc etc and as I said, we also have the certificate that will be this one. And uh, it basically shows the information publicly. So you can share it with your community and rest assured that they feel safe investing on your project because what you say, what you promise is real and it's uh, showed here in this uh, certificate of test. So as you can see, it's really simple to lock tokens using the Smithy tools. It is like a proof of work that you are legit and you are here to build for the long term and not only to dump on people. That's important, that's interesting, and that's what you should do when launching a project. Make it for real, make it serious, and provide to your community. So that's all for today. Hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.